Yeah, it's very encouraging. Look, Bill Ino shows up for us. Hoying shows up for us. Um, Chu coming back off of a back issue. Um, you know, it's 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 big uh, when you're not at what you'd call full strength of regular guys to, to have. That's what we talk about. Just. Hey, when, when when Plan A doesn't work out, there's a, there's a Plan B, and when Plan B is ready, and they contribute, it's uh, especially in this type of situation where it kind of keeps some things going for us. And there, it's huge. It's a, it's a great lift for for a team. It, it gives the rest of that crew of guys great confidence to to go play the game and and allow themselves to play the game the way they need to. <clears throat> How do you envision Hoying's role while Gomez is down? Well, he's playing center field. That's that's what he's going to do. I mean, that, we brought him up w with that in mind, and uh, obviously a huge night for him. First, a lot of first for him tonight. Um, some of what we've seen before in spring training, I know it hasn't shown up necessarily at the major league level in the times that, that he's been here. How, however, he's uh, we feel confident in in who he is and what he can, and so I think we got we saw a little bit last night. He put a, put a, uh, the barrel on a couple of baseballs that, that he hit hard, and then um, tonight, obviously, what he did uh, uh, at, at the plate, but and defensively also. So you had three sacrifice flies, two bunt hits, one hit and run, Rugnet Odor, which you remember. I mean. That's pretty good manufacturing, is it not? Yes, it is, and that's what we talked about uh, when when Chu and, and, and Gomez. You take take those two <coughs> hitters out of the lineup, and then you you go into a different mode. You go into okay, what what can we do to put some runs on the board? We know we have speed. We know we have some guys that can lay the ball on the ground and. Um, draw some walks also it, it, it set up some situations uh last few games that uh, that have allowed these guys to to do the things that uh, maybe a different skill set in, the, in their toolbox and, and that's when when times like this that's that's what you have to do and it puts pressure on the defense it forces uh some teams to play you differently or look at you differently and and then i i believe that allows some some of the other skill sets to show up also Finally, get the opportunity to put Austin Bivens Dirks in the game today. Just that I know you relish those moments. Yeah, it's um, just the the complete backstory. Um, you know, guys like that. It's it's obviously emotional for everybody. They couldn't wait. It's uh, look, I had a number of guys that that came to me in the dugout tonight going look this is a night and I said I, I, I get it we're going to get him in there and uh, they love the guy they, they they love the story they relish in it also and it's it's fun for everybody you notice that every single player was up on the rail um, they were clapping as soon as his name was was called um, he had a lot of advocates in, in that dugout tonight so uh, it's it's fun that's uh, look that's that's what's great about our game. Uh, when you when you get a guy like this who <clears throat> was out of organized baseball at one point, he was teammates with a number of our, our guys in the minor leagues uh, on our team, and they love the guy. Um, and just to, to, to get him in, in a game, um, I know that there were probably a couple opportunities earlier. I know in San Diego situation, but um, – well worth the wait, I'm sure, for him. Well worth the wait for all of our guys. Um, they all applauded him, the hugs, uh, the smiles. It's, it's, it's worth sitting in this seat and, and being able to, to, to have a hand in things like that. You mentioned getting guys who have filled in to contribute. Uh, you got Austin bivens in the game. These are all great in the short term, the, the way the offense has, has kind of righted itself. But uh, in the long term, what your starting rotation has done all year and seems to continue to do, and now almost taken, I don't want to say taken for granted, but it's like you, you get that kind of outing every night. 
what is the status in your mind of where this rotation is? I think the, the rotation's in a good place. Uh, I, I think they understand who they are and, and what they need to do. You saw that tonight in, in play with, with Cash. Um, the number of ground balls that he was able to get, uh, the double play balls, uh, the strikeouts weren't necessarily in play, but I look at it this way, 14 to 26, three pitcher less type situations, uh, 10 ground balls, one hit. Um, uh, just the ability for our, our starters to, to go manage the game, uh, settle in, make pitches, uh, may not get all the, the, the publicity and the talk. However, these, I, I feel like these guys have, have taken to that approach, the game plan to that hey, they don't have to lay it all on their shoulders, but just go manage the game, give us quality starts and, and allow uh, this offense to play for them, allow the defense to play for them.